Today, I want to show you how you can change any short that has an overcast or a foggy sky into a sunset. It may not be the most realistic sunset, but it can get the job done. Here's a few examples that I've posted on Instagram where I've changed an overcast sky into a sunset. This should be a very beginner friendly tutorial, and so I hope it's quite easy to follow. So let's hop in to DaVinci Resolve. So today we'll be working with this clip, and all I've done to this clip is done a simple conversion from S-Log3, which was shot on the Sony A7S3, to Rec. 709. For this tutorial, that's all you have to know. So don't worry about any of these notes, it's what's going to come in between these notes here that are going to be important to create the gradient effect, to create a fake sunset in fog or overcast weather. So the very first thing that we'll do is make a new node by pressing Alt or Command S, and this will create a new node. And in this node, I'm just gonna call this sky. And then what I will do is I'll make another node. And then what I'll do is make another node and call that a global node. And then what I'll do is make one more node called gradient. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to our sky clip, go over to our qualifier and click the sky. Once I've clicked the sky, nothing will happen, but that's because you need to press Shift H. Once I've pressed Shift H, you'll be able to see the selection that you've made. Here we can see it's somewhat selected the sky, but I can increase the width of this hue and hopefully select the majority of the sky. If you're having trouble selecting all your sky, and as you can see, some of the road is being selected here, which we don't want, I can go over to my power windows right here, go over to my pen tool and simply draw a mask. over my sky and now I have a much better selection. So now that I have my good selection I'm going to go over to my shift H and go back to our normal view which you can see here and what I will do is go over to my gamma shift a little bit of orange like so and then I'm going to go over to my HDR wheels go over to my light and simply shift more oranges this way and as you can see we have a little bit of orange beginning to seep into the sky. I'm actually going to go over to my qualifier, reduce the luminance selection, so a little bit more of this area of the mountains is being selected. We're not going to push too much colour just yet, but we're going to go over to our global node, and this way we're actually going to start creating the look, is we're going to grade the clip, essentially. We're going to go over to my global, I'm going to go over to my curve, I'm going to make three points. One, two, Free in your shadows, your midtones, and your highlights. So, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to bring my midtones down. As you can see, as I'm bringing my midtones down, a lot of the detail in the sky is coming across, and that orange coincidentally is actually being pushed out a lot more. So, if I, I'm also going to come down and I'm going to clip my whites just slightly, just so we have a bit more of a flat image, and we're going to keep that. I'm going to bring the shadows ever so slightly down. And then what I can do is go back to my primaries and go over to my offset and start shifting in colour. So we're going to start shifting in some more of a sunset colour. So oranges and blues in the shadows and or more oranges in the gains. So we'll just do that. So I'm going to shift the offset here, which is the offset is basically the overall image. Your gain is your highlights, your gamma is your midtones, and your lift is your shadows. So in the shadows, which is our lift, I'm going to push in some blues maybe some greens, go over to my gamma, shift in a little bit of orange, go over to my gain, increase this. You can see you can get quite crazy the more you push it. So I'm going to push in just slightly, just not too much. And then I'm going to go over to my gain and I'm going to drop that down. And as you can see, it's going to fill up the sky quite nice. So just from the global node, we have a before and an after. And if I, if I didn't do my sky node, I'm going to do a before and then after, you can see we've because we added that little bit of color within the sky, we're now able to enhance that color through our global node. So from here, what I can do is go over to my gradient node. I'm going to go over to my power windows, and this is where we're going to create that gradient between the sky, which I can show you here, between this part of the sky and this part of the sky. So when the sun is setting, often you get a line of color just on the horizon, and that's the type of color I'm trying to imitate in this one clip. You can actually leave the clip like this if you wanted to and it does look pretty cool and if you wanted to go for a more realistic look you can tone down the colours a little bit but if you enjoy a more stylistic look for like Instagram reels or just for just for the sake of it because it looks cool 
you know, you can keep it like this. But in this tutorial, I'm trying to show you how to create that gradient. I'm going to go over to my power windows, go over to my gradient tool, keep this here, drag this down, press shift H to see your selection. I can go back out of it and I'm going to go over to my saturation and I'm simply going to start bringing this down. So as I bring my saturation down, hopefully that you can see is that we're starting to create that gradient. And as you can see, if as I bring this down, we're going to affect more of the sky and we're going to get that sliver of light right here that is simply orange and the rest of the sky, now it's white. But what I can do is go over to my gamma, push in some blues like so, and that's looking good. So we have this look so far, which is looking somewhat good it's okay but I can make one more global node after this gradient map before I do that I'm gonna go back over to my gradient tool go over to my gain I'm actually just gonna darken the sky a little bit so I'm gonna darken this like so just so it kind of matches the image ever so slightly I'm gonna make another node I'm gonna call this uh, final look and this is really gonna help again just to mesh everything together as we always do so I'm gonna go over to my offset push in some oranges like this, bring the gain down, bring the gamma ever so slight. And here you can start shifting in different types of colors if you wanted to. I don't need to push too much. As you can see, we have this before. So if I was to select everything, we already have a before and an after. And you can see how much of a difference it has made. And if you're not happy with the gradient, you can either make it smaller or you can make it stronger. And if you wanted to add more color into your sky, you can go back over to your sky and you can actually go to your gain or your gamma and you can simply start shifting more color in this way. And you can go as hard as you'd like. So I'm gonna keep it like this cause it looks, I wanna say realistic, you never know, you might see something like this. Yeah, I hope this quick tutorial was helpful and it's another technique that you can use on any of your clips. I've used this look so many times on my reels on Instagram and yeah, it just I just personally really like the look and you can have a mess around with it and there's so much playability with it all. So yeah, enjoy. Thank you.